So today, what we're going to do is I'm just going to review. We we put together, we've been putting together some case studies at Inbound REM. What we're putting case studies together on is people that we can verify are making lots of money off YouTube. In this case, $867,867 in the second year. So this video, this one that you're watching right now is number one, are you trying to figure out if YouTube is worth it as a real estate agent? And number two, I think that personally, the reason that we really love this review is if your average looking in an average market, does this work? And that is a question I get a lot. And I believe that this is about as average as it gets. And some of our case studies internally with our clients, you know, they're average too, but people say, oh, you've got Robert in your corner and they don't consider it valid. Well, Byrne is not a, a client of ours. All right. We just did a review of him. And what we did is we said, all right, let's take this channel, take a look at it. Number one, break down how much is possible to make. Number two, track specifically what did YouTube bring in versus an agent who's been around for a while, who's been doing fine. Okay. In other words, what's fine? All right. So fine was this agent was making about uh, uh, maybe $300,000, $350,000 a year, just depending on fees, split, other things that we don't, we didn't necessarily ask. But we went from that to probably easy, uh, like a gross net of about a million in GCI. That's after fees, assistance, all that. So about a million dollars, 1.3 million. All right. That uh, is significant. All right. So really took him from being an agent that makes uh, enough money to, to survive in San Diego. Unfortunately, that's how much it takes to uh, enough money to create fundamental and foundational wealth for him and his family. All right. What's more, another thing that we liked about this story is that the uh, the skills that were used to create this stuff is basic, all basic. All right. This is just basic stuff. Now, when we when we do these blog posts, those of you who don't know, um, my content team has done some amazing things. One of the amazing things that we did with this blog post is we actually um, took this and created a thumbnail um, library so that you can come down here and you can download it. I just tested it, just did it myself. Went to the Inbound REM website, went to Real Estate YouTube Spotlight, Burn and Courtney's Perfect Fundamentals, and then we, we added this in. So we're doing a case study or review, but we're also allowing you to do, uh, to really take your YouTube building skills up to the next level, okay, by using this blog post by researching these agents. Now, there's a lot of different things that you do when you look at an agent's channel. Number one, you compare your market. Number two, you look to see if other YouTubers are doing anything similar to the strategies in the same marketplace that this strategy is. And then number three, you ask yourself the question, can I provide value in another way or better value? And if the answer to some of these questions is yes, that's fundamentally what I would be using these case study videos for. We already know that these guys make money. Okay. They make money. Right. So that's been proven to you. YouTube is, is quite literally one of the earth shattering bleeding edge strategies that anybody can do for free. And you can build out these kinds of thumbnails by, by going to Fiverr and I've downloaded them again. You can see them right now. I just downloaded them. Anybody can download them and go to Fiverr, hand off this zip file. And you will literally now have and a couple of photos of yourself like 10, 15, and you'll now have a completely done for you strategy that's going to cost you $10, $20 a month. Your thumbnails are taken care of. Your video optimization is another story. You might need to partner with somebody like us. In addition to this, we also broke down the strategy in writing, talking to you about um, what really worked about these videos from our experience. Our YouTuber spotlights, which are not some of our more traffic posts, they really should be though, because those of you looking for very specific strategies, looking for some very specific coaching, we're providing all of that strategy inside these YouTuber spotlight posts. 
and honest to God, you are really going to want to be paying a tremendous amount of attention to these because we tell you what we might do different, what some other subjects, once you've got the basics down and you understand what they're doing on the channel, how might you apply it to your channel, how you can do different things on your channel that are in the same category using the same kind of like informational branding strategy that Brendan Byrne and Courtney did. And then last but not least, you can also download some free content drops that we have on our website that's going to be books that, that you can use with your own name. You just have to leave our brand on it unless you want to buy them from us, in which case you can, you can take our name off it entirely. But the basic book, you, you can buy it. You get it for free. Okay? So I hope that you enjoyed this recap of this video is going to, not only did I do it on YouTube live, it's going to be redone and posted to this channel, to this review, because I want people understanding. I, I, I scratch my head and go, there are people out there, like I could charge you a hundred thousand dollars for this. And there are people out there that do Krista Mayshore, other people, I give it away which I think makes people not look at it and understand exactly what the value is. This is a done for you how to make $1 million using a YouTube channel in almost any place in the country. That's what this is, okay? You just follow along. The thumbnails are done for you. The strategy is done for you. The reviews are done for you. The content's out there. Like turn on a camera, copy it, or use some of our, our ideas that are copy adjacent. Maybe don't copy it because that's that's plagiarism, but I and I don't want you to plagiarize anybody else's, but you can do the thematic, can I do something similar in my own marketplace? Now, if you happen to be in Burns marketplace, don't copy them. Burn and Courtney, don't copy them. Don't do that. That's just dirty pool. But we've given you plenty of other ideas. And Burn, if you happen to be watching this video, reach out to me or Ben, the head of my brand and content teams. We'd love to interview you and add, uh, he's already reached out to you and talked to you in, in the creation of this article, but I would love to do an actual live interview with you and add it to this spotlight. All right, thank you everybody. I hope you found this video useful. Thumbs up, like it, subscribe if you'd like to see content that's similar and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.